Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you uh, the uh, some <coughs> configuration thing. Um, so in .NET, I, we define this connection string and we define this ef-migrate um, as a part of the app setting and in our program.cs uh, we uh, assign this to the connection string and then we use that as the connection string to our PostgreSQL oh man my back hurts uh, and then uh, here uh, in the this part of the code here it's checking the EF migrate if it's true or not so if it's set to true it's going to do an EF migration so so that you don't have to um, uh, you don't have to do the um, .NET EF something like that. It will just do the migration automatically um, when you run the application. Okay, so let's try this. Um, first, let's check uh, for uh, if there's a running uh, local host of Five zero five zero for Postgre uh, admin. Yeah, we do have uh, this RDS here. Um, is it, we already removed this, so we will remove that server. Uh, we're going to to register a new server. Um, yeah. What what is this? Um, setting again. Go to RDS. Yeah, this one here, um, RDS, RDS. Oh no, this is for the RDS. We want the post, only the post gray. So it should be local here. Um, okay, so the username is this one. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, should be the This have we registered this already? Nah. I have to put that there, and then we'll get the IP of that. So this is the IP. Put that here in the connection. Then our password is. This password. Oops. I mean only this password. Save. Oops. Yeah, so that is the .NET server. Password. Uh, Postgre. Postgres. All right, so that's it. Um, why do we have this already? So okay, so we have uh, the the database already. So if we do dot net uh, Docker. PSA Docker. Oh, it's already running. Uh, it's uh, no no it's not running this is the docker um, yeah docker run 5001 port 80 uh, name is fd dot net no 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 fd appointments and then yeah we haven't built we have to build first the um, appointments dot net build t tag fd appointments and so then the current directory dot net build what specify the name of the target oh no docker dot dot net docker all right so that's the docker Oh, worm. Oh, worm. Damn. 
doubt that the only way is one. One do 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 do. One do 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 do. The only way is one. Down down do 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 do. I feel angry and I feel helpless. Wanna change your mind? Oh, right. So. Doctor on the P for five thousand one eighty. Name is uh, FD appointments. Then FD appointments. But we have to set the connection string here. Oh no, we already set it this up. And this is already set to true, so it will do a migration. Docker PSA, uh, everything's running, and if we, um, oh, where was it open? Okay, so if we uh, local host five thousand one swagger, if we do uh, an appointments run, boom, boom. oh five hundred. Uh, okay, so it can't find the what's this? This one here. Uh, we need to point this to the uh, IP of our Docker. All right, so uh, we have this thing here again. We want to point this to that IP so if we change this uh, we put that in our setting here and then we remove RM remove um, the FD appointments for now and then force by force appointments what appointment okay so now docker run let's do this docker run again docker run dp blah 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 or no we will make a docker build docker build t if the appointment let's make it appointments make it appointments then current directory All right, so Docker run D P port five thousand one port eighty name is F D appointments then F D appointments. All right, so let's run that Docker P S A still in five thousand one. Right, so it's still at 5001, but now it's pointing to the IP of our Postgres locally. So it was able to create, she It's able to create, uh, we, it's able to um, get the data. And this is already three because we have this set up uh, like uh, earlier today, earlier today, right? So next is we want to create um, an update in our uh, appointment model we want to add a here string maybe description of this appointment then get set get set all right so um, what we want to do next is we want to dot net ef migrations add um, added property added um was that description uh to appointment all right so doc dot net dot net dot net Oh, was it 
added okay so let's try to see if we have added a migration so we have added a migration here uh, let's check the script that was generated so we are adding a column call description so if you want to revert this we're going to execute the mig down migration so we will remove the drop the column but for now we're adding the column and then we are then going to without doing an uh, db update uh, we can execute the ef because we have this set up here we have this um, environment variable here which is set to true and then here the config if the configuration is set to true it will do an automatic seeding or migration so um, let's do the do the docker PSA and then let's remove if the appointment by force all right so let's docker run dp oh no no a uh, docker build did, did have we built it already docker let's build it again docker build if the appointments then current directory and then and then we do the docker run dp5001 for port 80 port 5001 and the port 80 and then name is fd appointments and then the image that you want to use is the fd appointments docker psa so it's already running we refresh I uh, see here we now have description and if we try the description with a blah 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 here description and if we get this so we now have description blank blank but this one here has a value all right so that's cool uh, next is we want to um, remove again the dot net Appointments, then F. All right, so now uh, we want to add maybe a controller. Or no, no, no. We want to add a property, but we will set this to false so that we will not see the new mig um, property that we're going to add. So for example, we're going to add here uh, a string priority oh what's that um maybe code description um patient patient name okay so patient name uh is it good patient name yeah well, should be um Appointment, yeah, maybe just a patient name. We'll do. I will do for now patient name, and then we uh, uh, still we're going to add a migration dot net ef migrations add added uh, patient name to um, appointment. Okay, so we add that but we are going to we are going to okay so we have a the patient here we're going to add the patient but we want to set this to false so that when we um do the uh run docker run it will not uh, execute the migration so docker we're going to docker build again docker build t ef appointments current directory run oh one down bam 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 the own and then docker run dp5001 port 80 
then name is FD appointments, then FD appointments. Okay, so we run that. Docker PSA, how uh, we it's running. But let's see the um the table schema here. Uh, appointments column. See here, we don't have the newly added um, um, patient name. So if we do another uh, Docker run, Docker PSA. So if we do a Docker um, run, Docker run DP. 5000 uh, maybe 5002 port 80 name is now different fd appoint mens migrate okay and then use the same image if the appointments appoint appointments so we are still using that but now uh, we have a magic that will uh, migrate it for us using the uh, docker environment variables so we are going to set the environment so this environment here ef migrate ef migrate so set it to true right so if we set it to true Okay, so Docker PSA. This uh, run here, this Docker run here, should have created, executed this migration here. So if we go, are going to check the columns, so if we refresh this, now we have patient name because we have updated. Um, we have executed the migration using this um, EF migrate variable and if once we docker run it's going to execute this um, EF sed seeding here and that should be it uh, if we deploy this to um, ECS we are just going to um, update the task definition here and set the environment variable in our container in the task definition. But I can't open this one and show you because there are um, user uh, access keys there uh, that is defined in the task definition because I don't know why I can't. Um, uh, set the credentials without setting those um, um, environment variables, uh, those access keys in the environment variables. Uh, the service rules permission is already set, but yep. So that's it. Too. So um, next is yeah, we'll we're going to test this in RDS, but. Basically, the theory is just the same. Uh, we're just moving this to AWS, but the setup is um, just similar. All right, so thanks for.